clever girl. You're a clever girl, aren't you? Look at your muscles. Look at your muscles. Delilah's being very good, aren't you? You're sitting here and having a play whilst I get dressed. Morning, guys. So I'm finally back vlogging. I've not vlogged, well, I've not vlogged for almost a week now because it took me so long to get around to being, being able to edit the vlog that went up this morning, which was last Saturday's vlog. It was a long vlog, though. It was 30... <laughs> it was about... 31 minutes long or something like that so yeah we've had a bit of an interesting morning this one's feeling a bit grotty because of her teeth although you wouldn't think it she's not really given me the time of day to think about what to wear i don't want to wear what i wore in the last couple of vlogs so i've just bunged on this gingham smock top it's just gonna have to do because i don't think she's gonna give us much time to um get bits together i need to get a bag together with her toys in <coughs> And some, oh, and some nappies. And then I need to get this one dressed because you've still only got your vest on, haven't you? <laughs> Look at your little vest. Look at your little vest. And then we are going to head out um, to try and get her to have a bit of a sleep before her music class. Oh my gosh, Delilah. <laughs> I hate what I'm wearing. I'm so sick of all the clothes that I have and just wearing the same thing day in and day out. I know you don't like having your tops put on. But you can't be a naked baby forever. Good girl. I've got the nursery rhymes on the telly. It's always a good distraction when you're trying to get her cardigan and that on. I love this cardigan from Nex. I'll link it in the description. I don't usually link her clothes because I link so much. And I just draw the line at linking another <laughs> handful of things. But um, I'll link it because I know I'll probably get asked about it. And get your socks on. Not that they stay on any longer than about two minutes. Instead of putting her in her snowsuit, because she's actually almost grown out of it anyway. She doesn't particularly like having coats or snowsuits on because they make her really stiff and she can't move. So when she's awake, she can't play with toys in her pram and she gets really really frustrated which i don't blame you so i'm gonna pop her in this that i got her from next i have filmed a baby clothing haul for all her new stuff that i bought her so check look out for that soonish i thought that this will keep her warm but she should be able to move her arms a little bit more in this we'll give it a go today shall we <laughs> crap this is really hard to get on i'm sorry darling what have i done to you i know i don't know what i've done I'm sorry we're in now that was one of those oh dear god that I'm an awful mum moment. Like I didn't really know what to do. That was really hard to get on. I don't know if this is intended for outerwear now. Maybe it's something to wear on its own. I don't know, I thought it'd be really easy to get her into it, but it's not at all. It has poppers on the bottoms like a baby grow, which I thought would be really handy, but it's not. It's not at all. I forgot my gloves, so I'm having to use my jumper. It's so cold. <laughs> We've just finished her music class. I'm gonna change her nappy and um, I'm hoping she'll go to sleep in the pram again for another hour. She slept really well before class, so I'm hoping she'll sleep for another hour before we then meet my grandma for lunch. Oh, don't eat that. Don't eat that. Oh my gosh, she's chewing the label on this. I had to buy her a new anything suit, snowsuit, bodysuit, whatever you want to call them, just a warm thing to wear over her clothes because the other one was so hard to get her out of not as hard as getting her in it but really hard to get her out of it and it was so embarrassing trying to get her out of it in front of the whole class but she's going to be cold if she doesn't wear anything so um i picked up this in gap in the sale luckily they've got all their new spring summer stuff out so they don't have much winter stuff but the winter stuff that is out is in the sale i decided to um, come down to the park because there's only so many times i can <laughs> do the same lap around town. I spent almost an hour before her class walking around because she didn't have her nap this morning. Sorry it's windy I need to get one of those special muffle things for the top of my mic. I'm sorry. Yes the sleep specialist came if you've been watching my snapchats then you all know that she has been sleeping through. I know Delilah the child who wakes up at least every hour since she was born most nights has slept through three nights in a row it's 
Friday now, so Monday she only woke up for one feed, but then by Tuesday night, completely dropped all the night feeds. She wakes up through the night, but she settles herself. So many of you have been asking me um, about the tips and whatever this lady did. <laughs> I swear she's Mary Poppins or she's done sort of some sort of witchcraft or something on Delilah because I just can't believe it. I said I'd be happy enough if she was waking maybe three or four times a night and she's sleeping through. I mean, she's waking up, obviously. We all wake up through the night, but I put her in to her bedroom at seven and don't get her out until about half six or whenever she wakes up. I've even been able to get her down for naps in the morning and the early afternoon. Basically, we have this really strict um, schedule for the next couple of weeks and then we can be a little bit more lenient. So our schedule is um, a sleep in the morning in her cot, a sleep in the afternoon in her cot, and then the last sleep, which is, um, well, it doesn't have to be a sleep, it can just be quiet time, but the last sleep slash quiet time has to be in her pram or at least not in her cot, which we do around four o'clock every day. She explained it can't be in her cot because it's too close to bedtime. Why am I vlogging and going up a hill? and pushing a pram oh my god help me help me yeah for tuesday and wednesday it worked really well tuesday i couldn't believe it nine o'clock tuesday morning first time ever trying to get her to really go to sleep in her cot i mean i tried loads in the past but obviously the first time doing it since the sleep the sleep lady came and um yeah she grizzled but um she, she managed to do about 40 minutes which was good considering that was her first ever proper nap like she's never fallen asleep in her cot before apart from bedtime got some lads behind me shouting at me it's always there's always a bunch of leery teenagers in a park just always it doesn't matter how nice the area is where you where you live there's just always a bunch of leery teenagers i'm fully aware that i've just spent ages talking about delilah's naps and it probably didn't make any sense to you yes we have success. This lady was a miracle worker and I'll try and go into more detail about it when I have the opportunity because now's not really the right time. She's still asleep. I've just come to get some lunch so I might actually be able to eat this before she wakes up. And then I've got some sweet potato fries as well. I'm trying to wake her up now because she's been asleep for two hours and I messaged the sleep consultant and she said leave her for five more minutes and then wake her up because she needs to be fed. <laughs> those little feet of course she's kicked her socks off everyone asks me why i never have her in socks i do put them on but uh, she just pulls them off all the time finally somebody's awake aren't they hello you have a good sleep <laughs> hello <laughs> hi <laughs> Lunch now. Say hello, Grandma. Say hello. It's wake now. I've got a, I've got a, I was all up there thinking that I'll be. No, they don't have it. I have The other ones I forget. We're home. This is her new thing that I had to get her today because the other one was so hard to get her in and out of it's a bit easier but not great she can't move around in it just like her other snowsuit and the whole point of the one she wore earlier was that she could move around freely and she, once she was in it she was enjoying it because she could move her arms and bend her and bend at the elbows and stuff oh, did you just do a big pop off do we need to change it so yeah we've just gone home oh it's been such a long day let's turn the light on i'm gonna get her out of this change her bottom because i think it might need changing in my arms how are you doing that yeah so let's change you and then we're gonna then we're gonna have some dinner uh, oh there's nothing there uh, i got the whites ready and everything uh, uh, Oh. 
Look at those rosy cheeks. <laughs> I usually just give her one toy to play with at a time, but um, I bought her whole basket of toys in earlier. She really enjoys taking stuff out of um, bowls and baskets and whatnot at the moment, so I thought I'd give her the whole basket because she quite she quite enjoyed just pulling stuff out and putting the toys that she wants out. <laughs> this hence why she has so many toys to play with in one go. I love these ones; they're just so satisfying to play with they're, they're, they're like a de-stress type thingy they're fun aren't they i thought whilst delilah's sat there nicely playing i would show you something that came from zara today i've just bummed my hair up in this ridiculous bun but it keeps it off my face yeah it looks silly doesn't it i only got two things and they're the same item but different sizes because i never know what size i am in zara yes yeah, so i ordered two sizes because i didn't know what size um i needed and i really like it and i always find that stuff sells out on zara that i like so i ordered both sizes i'll send one back oh i love it i hope i like it on it is this top here it's um it's one of their new items from the spring summer collection yeah, it probably hurt, didn't it? All of this bit here and the back is all embroidered. I, I love it. It's mainly green with some cream embroidery, some black, and then I love just pops of yellow. And of course, you guys know I love smock tops and smock dresses. Should we go have dinner? So you know I just changed her because I thought she needed to change in and there was nothing there. Well, while she was on the bed, she, uh, she got busy and... Um, <laughs> Five minutes later, I'm changing her again because now she's made a huge mess in her nappy. <laughs> Stop grabbing the camera. I swear I'm constantly just being kicked and slapped and hair being pulled constantly. <laughs> just get, I just get beaten up all the time now by my six month old. <laughs> so for dinner tonight delilah has the pot on the left is blueberries, the one on the right has pear, and then one of them's mixed with butternut squash and the others mix the sweet potato but i don't know which is which the reasoning behind mixing these four flavors together is because i'm trying to copy the ella's kitchen pouch that delilah had the other day that she loved so hopefully she'll love this just as much except this hasn't got apple in it's got pear and instead of pumpkin it's got butternut squash but hopefully she'll like it so i'm just going to heat it up in this ridiculously little pan mm. blowing it I started to give her um like lumps of food as well so we're combining baby led weaning. Oh well done. Good girl. And um that's you know that's going quite well. It's quite hard. A lot of stuff is really slippery for her to pick up, but broccoli um is probably the best one we've done so far. I put banana down in front of her and her arms went back and she was having none of it. She just started screaming at it. She was looking at it. Oh, clever girl! You just took the spoon from me and you just fed yourself. Who is a clever little girl? Mm. Is that good? It's all gone, my lovely. <laughs> You've just eaten four ice cubes and they're not they're not the normal small ones, they're quite big ones. Four big ice cubes in one go. You little piggy wig, I think you really liked that, didn't you? Well, that's a hit. <laughs> oh, can I lick the bowl clean? If I were a rabbit. Don't play raspberries at the rabbit. That's not very polite, is it? That's not very ladylike. <laughs> if I were a bunny rabbit, my tail would be fluffy. My nose would be wriggly. <laughs> 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 
my ears would be velvety. I've just fed Delilah. Uh, Doug is giving her her bath. So obviously we've got this new routine. The routine's pretty much the same, um, except I feed her first and then we give her her bath and then she gets into her gym jams. I give her a quick top up feed on the other side and then take her into the bedroom. Sorry, the dishwasher's really loud. Take her into the bedroom, put her sleeping bag on, say goodnight, put her to bed. She's still at that stage where she's protesting. She's like, no, how dare you put me to bed and not feed me to sleep? But then after like five minutes, she falls asleep and then she's in there for the rest of the night. But I'm still like nervous. I'm still thinking, oh, you know, what if tonight is a really bad night? And I just think, what if tonight doesn't go as well as the last four nights? What if she has a total meltdown and we no longer have the support of the sleep consultant anymore. Well we do, we can contact her whenever we want but um, we'd have to pay her more. Really worried that like tonight's gonna be the night that I won't know what to do because Delilah won't at least like crying like crazy and I know that probably won't happen and I, I know she'll probably sleep through like she has done but I don't know, you can't help, I can't help but just worry about that. Um, anyway, before I give her her little top up feed and put her to bed, I've just been whipping around the place tidying up Delilah's bedroom, putting her clothes away and I'm just gonna get dinner sorted. I didn't think about dinner until uh, Doug said, what should we have for dinner? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't know. We've got some potatoes in the fridge. So I thought we could have mashed potato with pie. I've got a Linda McCartney uh, vegetarian pie. And then Doug's got this beef and onion pie. We've had dinner. Delilah is tucked up in bed now. The first night in a lot of nights, I'm not bothering to do anything. No household stuff, no editing, no nothing. I'm just sitting had dinner and we're watching a film we're finally getting around to watching that film i bought the other day called captain fantastic and it's quite good so far i can enjoy a nice little bit of red wine and then go to bed and hopefully get another good night's sleep and she's been asleep for the last hour now look how cute she looks i swear her cheeks look chubbier through the monitor gonna go to bed now <sighs> i'm tired <laughs> how am i tired oh been getting somewhat decent night's sleep the last four nights. Sorry, I'm trying to talk quietly. These walls are so thin and she's right next to that wall. I'd love to chat to you about all the um all the stuff I've got to update you guys on from the sleep consultant and things. But I'm tired. I'll see you guys um in a couple of days. Bye. Oh she's so cute. Look at those little hands.